So hello and welcome to another piece of tech. You find me in the garage, an extremely, extremely messy garage. You can see I've got a pile of Eskew um, mountain bikes and road bikes behind me. I've just been doing a video on how to adjust the brakes and this brings me to using my light. Now this light is the Kolber CL60. Uh, this is the best lighting setup for studio photography, 65 watt output, by color temperature, 10 light matrix, DC and battery power supply. That's what it says there. <laughs> this is from Kolber. Kolber have sent me this. Um, I just want to make a point that I'm actually using the um, Ulanzi MT49 uh, light stand. You've seen me do a video on this. If you haven't, I'm going to put a link up in the corner so you can have a look at it. This is a brilliant, brilliant light stand for something like this light. Okay, so bear that in mind. I think that is a fantastic stand uh, for that, for this. Very, very lightweight carbon fiber and extremely high and easy to adjust. So anyway, back to the light. Uh, what have we got? We've got a 65 watt output uh, studio light basically. Um, it's got a USB-C socket in the back and powered by um, 240 volts. It's got a wall socket um, connected to the end and it's plugged in at the moment. I understand that using a USB socket on the back, if you've got a big enough um, portable output, you can actually use that. I've got uh, Bluetti Power Oak uh, mobile um, power banks. I've also got Jacobi power banks that you've seen in the past and I'm sure you've seen me do the videos on them and they're great for taking around and using lights. So I'm out in the garage at the moment. Like I said, I've been doing a video on the uh, the bike and using the light. So the light has got a very good output on it. Um, it's got a color temperature ranging between uh, 7,000 uh, 2700 Kelvin and 6500 Kelvin and hopefully if I get the right button I'll be able to show you the temperature difference um, on screen because if I get the wrong one I'm going to go blind. So this should be bringing my temperature down, there's a small wheel on the back and my temperature should be getting warmer um, so that should give me more of a 2700 look and if I push that up you see my face is now changing colors and it's gone to a very bright blue look and that's your 6500 Kelvin so you can adjust the Kelvin of the light to suit your um, the way you want the image to look. Warmer would be nicer rather than making me horrible. So I've now got a nice warm tone and warm tan on my face. And you can see it's quite a bright output. It comes with the, um, the, the snood or the hood, uh, which gives you a, um, a standard fitting. Um, you'll have to bear with me because I'm a bit, I've just come back from a weekend away and I just wanted to get this done and I'm, I'm just rambling to be honest. Um, it comes with a little hood. Um, which you can screw on and it makes a very direct light so I can pinpoint the light where I want it. You can see in the back of the room it's quite dark. Uh, if I was to face that back there you can see that the light's sort of a bit of a, a, a small circular light which is what I want on my face while I'm talking rather than filling the room full of uh, colour. Um, illumination. We have got a 2888 Lux uh, to to, uh, to, to 20,240 lux, uh, if that helps you understand that. We've got a C-type support PD3, um, 20 volt, 4 amp. So that's, what's, that's what you need to power this up. You need that 20 volts to get it powered up. Uh, it's a light dimension of 140 by 80 by 90, uh, light base included. So you get, you get the light, you get the hood, you also get the connector which goes on the bottom um, for connecting it to your uh, stand, standard stand fitting on the bottom. You've also got screws on the side you can adjust and you can put an umbrella in there so you can have a, an umbrella at the front or behind it. Also the fitting on the front comes as a standard clip-on fitting. Uh, it comes with the, the barrel that goes around the edge of the light and this comes with a standard fitting that you can fit any um, umbrella or diffuser or anything to the inside and as long as I put that back in the right way round it clips in and doesn't come off. We also have a 10 light matrix. Uh, it does a different style of things with it as well. So I'm just going to flick through and kind of tell you what it does as I go through the page. It comes in a bag. Let me just get that. Lovely little Colba bag. You can see there, you've got a strap with it. You put it over your shoulder. You've got the dividers in there, padded dividers. And it all comes in these nice bags that sort of keeps it all nice and tidy when it's in there. And you get the instructions and everything with it as well. So it comes in a bag. Uh, you must remember to remove the plastic cap off the LED or you'll melt it. Um, so yeah, the bag's really nice size. It's not very big and it's very, very lightweight and very small and easy to carry. I've lost my notes. What have I done with them? 
All right, so I said this is a bicolor light, so I'm gonna go into darkness a little bit now and I'm gonna try and show you the light um, from the back. I'm gonna show you the back of the light first. So on the back of there, you've got this nice big display. You've got these two up and down buttons at the side there. This one controls the power. And as you can see, if I turn it up next to me, it gets really, really bright. And if I turn it right the way down, that just goes to off. So that's as low as it'll possibly go, which I think is 2%. So it doesn't blind me when it's in my face. And the other one is the color temperature. You've also got the power button and you've got some other buttons on the back. And I'm just gonna turn and face away from you at the moment so I can sort of explain what they are and what they do. So hopefully you can see the light. Uh, we can adjust this up slightly so we can just see what's going on in front of me. So at the moment we're set to 3050 Kelvin. Um, if we press the set button, we can go through to um, resetting it. We can have the fan on a smart fan. So it's got a built-in fan that keeps it cool and keeps it quiet. Um, we can go down to using the control buttons on the back. We can flick through to the groups. So you can have this set up in groups. This has got like um, a a slotting connections so you can actually have multi lights and set different lights and have an array of lights next to each other and have a really massive massive output you can also set them up to operate in groups because um, they do actually work from your smartphone as well and i'm just going to show you that in a moment we've got rp on off we've got curve linears so you can set that up you've got um, smooth and there's lots of different things on the back that i haven't read into and looked into but i don't want to mess with them at the moment because it's just basically using the light um, you can also pick effects we can go into effects and we've got different types of effects that this will actually go through so we've got a tv effect so basically the light will flicker like a tv you can have a speed on it as well so it's Bit, that brightness let's go to speed so that should be going a bit quicker okay so you can see the lights flicking looks like a tv is working this one is a flash so it's looking a bit more like um, a flash i don't have them written down which is really stupid of me um, i wish i'd have had them written down for you so i could explain what they were let's have a look we have some here so we've got tv we've then got explosion Okay, we can go to the next effect, which is a 40 bulb. So hopefully it should flicker like a 40 bulb. And not necessarily forward. If I was to put it maybe sort of sideways or the back of the room or something, can I spin it around this way? And over there, it should look like a 40, 40 bulb flickering. You can see like that. We can go into the next effect. This should give us... Um, welding a welding strobe so it looks like someone's welding in the background hopefully that kind of thing this is for video this is for setting up on video this is uh, strobe lightning and you can speed them up you can have them going a lot faster if you want to uh, rate if i'm on three now this so it should be it should be acting a lot faster and quicker we can go to the next effect which is uh, sos i think so you have three on, three off, three short, three short, three short, dun, dun, three long, three short. We've also got fire. This is this should give you the like a, a fire glow. Um, it should give you an effect that the fire's glowing. There we go. I've just had to turn the power up a little bit. So this, you know, it's giving that effect that there's a fire glowing in the background. This is where you want the warmer light. And we can sp slow it down again as well. We can go back down to one. So it's flickering a lot slower. Uh, and then we've got CC Chase. Uh, so we go into effects and this is CC Chase. So I don't know what that does. Um, I'm assuming it's just gonna do whatever it does. Um, so yeah, there's, there's, lots, there's lots of different lighting effects with this. Um, it's, it's, it's quite a good, it's quite a good little light actually. It's not just a standard studio light. So for, for video work, it works quite well. Now, there is a way of getting this on your phone. You need to connect the app uh, there's a small button on the back where you connect it and i'm hoping that if i turn the app on it's going to work first time go into cobra studio i should be in scene one and hopefully power off power on so if i just start my screen record for you so you can see what i'm doing so if i was to press the power off you can see the power goes off power on and i've got intensity i can turn it up to full and you can see the lights turn up really really bright over there and if I turn it down to 39%, the light should then come down as well. And if I go right down to off, it goes all the way off. So if we put it on just 6%, and that just gives you enough light to be working at 6%. Um, we've also got the group button, so you can set up groups, controls. So we've got different color lights. You've got to white light, 
and you can add different things to these. You need to look into how this all works, how this controls, you know, how you actually get this all to work. Um, I know that I can go into something else and give me some more settings. There we go. Um, so we've got intent, 50. Now the intent's on 87, 95, 39. So intent looks like the amount of power that's coming out of it. The Calvins, I can up the Calvin now to that cold, cold blue light all the way up to 2000, uh, 6,250. And you can see it's a very cold light. I can drop it all the way down now to 2,700. And that's gone to a nice warmer light. So it's very easy to adjust on it. And then you've got the rate. That is the speed of your effects and how quickly the uh, light operates in between the two. So we've got on the bottom, you can see you've got the start and stop button. So if I press start and stop, so we're running on start. Let's go on to candle light. And then we'll turn the temperature down to make it look like a candle. And then our rate, we're going to put our rate up to maximum. And that's now flicking, you know, like a candle would be. Um, you need to turn it down and, and control it. We can then go to um, lightning. Let's go on to lightning. And again, we're going to turn the speed up so you can see it. And we're going to put our color right up onto blue. And that should give us that effect that, oh, there's lightning going on outside, you know. So it, it, it works more than just a standard light. Um, bonfire, again, we want to turn the temperature all the way down. And you can see it's flickering in the background like a bonfire's on. If we just slow that down to a three, it just gives you that feeling that there's something going on. And if it was outside the window or, or coming through, you know, a studio, it would really work um, so we don't see the light. Um, so, yeah, I think press pause on that, go back, uh, and we can turn that off. There we go, and it's gone off. So if I put that back onto me, hopefully you'll get a bit more light on my face. I'm gonna turn it on and turn the right down to 1%, and then we should be glowing on the side of my face again. So we'll stop that. That's the Colba light, the Colba CL60. I don't use these lights very often, but when I was doing work on the bike, to actually bring the light down and to shine it on the areas I wanted it to. I can then do a video on that area or on this back area and get the light exactly where I want it without having to put on all the lights in the room or to take the bike outside. So I think it's really, really good. I've been waffling for way too long. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions about the Colby CL60, let me know and I'll try and answer them for you. Till next time, ciao for now, see you soon and everything's gonna be in the description.